Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you something quite simple, uh, but which I think it could be pretty useful for your RPG Maker development. Basically, I'm just going to show you how to create, take an empty plugin, which I've already created, uh, that you can download and um, that you can then use uh, to do custom things in RPG Maker that other plugins or the game engine itself, the, u the user interface, doesn't allow you to do. I've learned uh, while building my game, who saw my bid, that uh, there's certain things that I want my game to be able to do that that just you know that maybe there's a plugin, but it doesn't quite do the right thing, or simply just isn't supported. Um, and also, I've learned that as your game grows in size, you're going to want to um, it's get, going to get complicated. So the more complicated it gets, um, the easier it actually is to start trying to maybe learn a little bit of basic JavaScript to put um, a lot of your game configuration, your settings, your events, your variables into code. Um, and the reason for this is that then they won't be scattered throughout the all the different events on all the different maps that you've created. Um, there's a bazillion reasons I can think of why this is useful and I'm going to do a series actually following this video where I have a great example um, where I wanted to create a just a simple item system in the game where um, imagine you have you, you find items think back to kind of like a point and click adventures of the like of the 80s and the 90s you collect a bunch of items and then you walk up to various elements in the game and you can interact with them and you can choose an item from the list and maybe it's a big list say 30 items and then you want to be able to use that item and have custom messages show up for every item you try to use and possibly custom triggers that say okay you know you use this item and it broke or you use this item and uh, it worked and something happens or you use this item and uh, it, it turned into something else, you know, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to actually show you how, when I can't find plugins to use this, I'll, I'll actually do it in code. But the first step to that is obviously learning to code, um, which might seem daunting, but, but JavaScript, once you get the hang of it, you'll find you'll be able to do lots of little things in your game uh, quite easily, just by learning a few basics. And I'm going to do some tutorials in the future to help with this. Uh, but in the short term, you're gonna, the way to do this is with RPG Maker, if you just create an empty plugin and from there, uh, you can start adding your custom code. So I'm just gonna create the plugin today, show you a really simple example, and then uh, you can go ahead and download it and see it for yourself, put it in your game, or, or just start looking around online, find some JavaScript tutorials and, and start playing, playing with it yourself. So let's just dive straight into that. So basically, yeah, so what I've got is I've got this file, which is um, an empty plugin file, that's what I call it. And I'll provide a link to this in the comment, in the description. So I just call in this, uh, I it's taken from my game, so I'll just say my code utility functions to do random things. Uh, this is just a comment, so it doesn't do anything, it just says what the file is. So this is your empty plugin, this is, this is, this is it. Um, so this is what I'm going to give you and, and you can download it. Now, there's lots of documentation about how to call um, all the things that RPG Maker can do through code. So for example, you know, when you, when you have an event uh, and you click the UI, you've got all these options and there's a nice spreadsheet available online, which shows you how you can perform these actions instead of through here by clicking here, for example, show text, how to do that through the code directly. So, and the way that you do this in RPG Maker, if you put anything in code, is you will use the script tag here. So your script tag, you'll just call your function that, that you write to show the text. So, so let's go back a second. So the empty plugin is here. So, you know, download the plugin. Um, install it, which I don't think I've done yet, so I'll do that. You see, I've got a lot of plugins. So at the bottom here, I'm gonna put my empty plugin. There's no comments, it's just a, it's just an empty plugin. It's for your purposes 
to add your own custom code to. Maybe as you watch future tutorials, um, maybe I'll turn some of my stuff into real plugins. But um, so it, we've got it. It's in. So now, um, simple, simplest of simple examples. So what I'm going to do just to just to highlight the um, the functionality is I'm going to create an event. So let's just let's just say uh, let's start a game. Uh, I think my game is currently starting on this test map. So let's put something here. Let's let's put a um, doesn't really matter. Let's just put a mirror there. Sounds good. And here's your mirror. So I'm going to hook up an event to this. So when the player touches it with the action button, I'm going to want to call the plugin and do something. So let's say that we want to um, show some text with, say, a variable uh, based on the value of a, of a, of a variable. So let's um, create a variable. And again, you could do all this in code. Um, in fact, let's let's do it in code because that's the whole point of this of this tutorial. So let's say uh, here you've got a function called do something. Um, so if you wanted to add a new one, so this one's going to say show variable. Um, so so here I've created something called my code dot util. So you can see again, you're going to need to learn a little JavaScript for this, but as you can see, it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So this is just saying, create a new function and let's call it show um, variable in text message. Okay, and that is a this is a JavaScript function. And what RPG Maker does is it passes this thing called an, the interpreter into the um, when you call it from the script tag. So all we're going to do here. Really simple. So let's let's say um, create a variable, and you have to actually have a variable. So let's create a new variable, and we'll call it um, my call variable. Okay, awesome. And it's number forty-seven. So what I can do here is I can say, all right, um, my call variable is number forty-seven. So now the code knows about that variable. Now this might seem silly. And it is, this is a silly example, but as things get more complicated, as you build more sophisticated functions, um, you know, this is good. I mean, obviously RPG Maker can do this. This is silly to do in code, but this is purely uh, for demonstration purposes. So now that we have my call variable, we can say, all right, um, let's set that variable value to some text that we decide. And, um, the way you do that in RPG Maker is you see, you remember I said earlier, when you when you do something in RPG Maker and you click this, it'll say control variable. And I can click this and I can set, I could set that variable to whatever value I want or another variable or I can add to it. I could do various things. But like I said, there's, there's some great documentation online that tells you how to do this uh, through JavaScript because underneath, RPG Maker is just running through through this this interface, and is doing that under the hood. It's it's calling that code, and it's open source, so that's everything that's in RPG Maker. You can pretty much see it. So now um, we're going to just say this is how you do it. You say game variables. This this thing here, dollar game variables, holds a reference to all the variables that RPG Maker knows about, and then it has this method or function here, which you can call. And you can set the value. And to do that, you pass the variable ID, which we know from uh, it's forty-seven, and we're just going to say it works. And that's it. Um, now, the way that we make this happen, we call this plugin from our RPG Maker. Is we simply copy this whole function name here, and we go to our event. We'll just call. We'll go to the script. And you just call it. Now, the one thing you want to do if you want to get access, which you probably do in most cases, to the interpreter that allows you to look at things like the map ID, um, that type of stuff, then we can say this. This refers in JavaScript to the current, the, the object in current scope. Um, you can read about scoping online. But anyway, that's, 
Okay, so now that we, we've called that script, then we want to show the value we set. If you remember, we, we set it to say, we wanted to say, it works. So we'll go to show text. Now I'm, I'm using a plugin that allows you to, um, here you go, it's the, use slash V and allows you to put the value of a variable into text message. So, um, message is, and then we can do slash V. And if you remember, it was number 47, so variable 47. So whatever's in variable 47 should, should appear on this. So there you have it, see? So we walked up and it, and it did it. So pretty simple example. Uh, obviously then you can get much more involved. So uh, to give you kind of one last idea of things you can do. So let's say that we want to um, know what map we're on as well, uh, maybe for testing or something. So one thing that I know that the interpreter has available is the, is the map ID. Um, so we can just say, um, it works, you are on map ID, and then put it in there. So, so yeah, the possibilities are endless, and you'll find that the flexibility of the engine will, will increase greatly um, just by just by writing a few custom things in your in your empty plugin that you start out with. You can really do so much more. Um, and probably find great new, new ways to, to start using the engine. There you go, you're on map ID 31. And if you see here, this is our test map. And that actually is map 31. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna follow this video up uh, with my new, uh, with a new series on building um, a, an item interaction system. And it will be using a plugin uh, code, well, not a plugin, but it'll be using like the empty plugin, but custom, custom code. And then of course, if you get really fancy, you can package it all up as a plugin for the community to use. Um, but of course, it, you know, most people, I think they just want to, um, you just want to build the stuff that, you know, you want in your game without being limited by only what's available in the, you know, in, in this list here, in, in the things that RPG Maker can do. So using a plugin, learning a little bit of JavaScript, uh, it's a good skill to learn and uh, you can do a lot more with it. So uh, thanks for watching. You can check out my um, game on my YouTube channel that I'm currently working on and see you next time. Please click subscribe if you like the channel and join me on twitch.tv where I'm regularly doing indie game development and game playthroughs. You can also check out my previous games and current development efforts on my website over at clear.games.com.